hi everyone it is time to go through my beauty stuff on tour all the uh, beauty items that I brought with me and um, see um, what I used and what I probably could left at home so um, let's start with the um, skin and hair care items first because that is uh, how I started the video I brought this here this is the Balea um, wash gel it is supposed to help remove makeup and um, I'm not sure if I had said this in the original video, I ended up taking this because I thought that with the makeup wipes, which I think I forgot to bring here, um, I would not be able to get all the makeup off, which uh, was true. So um, I brought this one as well and I use this on a regular basis, just like the makeup wipes actually. The makeup wipes for the Alberti makeup um, wipes, just um, wet wipes that you uh, use to take off makeup. And um, I used um, those. I used my my uh, makeup, my eye makeup remover for um, waterproof makeup. I didn't have waterproof makeup, but I had um, the mascaras I brought are a bit on the uh, tougher side to remove, so I decided I would bring this one. I've used this one every day, as well as the makeup wipes and this. And after all that. <laughs> I would wash my face in the morning and in the um, in the evening with this one here. This is a, a Verde wash cream with um, clay. And I like this quite a bit. I mean, I've used this before. I just didn't have it in my collection. I bought this specifically for the trip. And if you see, I'm down to here already. So I used quite a bit of that too. Then for um, shower gel, I brought these two sample um, travel size thingies. Um, they, they are both a treacle moon sh um, shower gels in one ginger morning. I used this one up completely and in sweet apple pie hugs. I used this to about here. I couldn't have gone without um, bringing both but um, all in all I have yeah I'm right about here. So you see there is quite a bit left but um, one would not have done. And for body lotions I brought three, these three here. This is the Dior Jador body lotion. C by Chloe and a D squared potion. Now I used up all three. I used up the um, last one, which I believe was the C by Chloe on the last day there. And um, I'm actually quite happy that I brought all three. It meant that I did not use any of my perfumes in, um, in general because um, I ended up taking my showers in the morning and um, I just um, used the body lotions right after, so um, I was good for the day. But um, I'm glad that these three are, are out of my collection now. Then, um, for um, face lotions, I had three here. I had my Alberti um, fluid for um, for my face with um, clay as well. And this is also part of the clay that I use this um, every morning. Then I brought the Alberti Ultra Sensitive um, cream this i use in the evenings this is a bit more hydrating and for on the plane i was using this little guy here this is another alberti product it's their daily moisturizer wild rose and this is supposed to be for dry skin which i thought might work well with the um air the air in the airplane it's usually very dry so your skin dries out and um this was just doing a good job i still have a bit left in here so i might just um mix this in with my um, night cream to um to finish this one up eventually then i brought um my um alberti um anti uh, spot treatment this is um also with clay and um, i use this on a semi-regular basis um there's still quite a bit in here but um you don't need a lot so this might show up eventually in the empties and then i use my Garnier Roll-On. I use this every day. Um, this is something that I use in the morning to so just depuff my eyes. In the evening and on the plane I would use my Serum Made um, Eye Cream with Hyaluron Anti-Aging um, Effects and Q10. So this is quite nice for that actually. And of course my Balea um, Lash Serum. For deodorant I had said I was bringing this little guy here. This is a travel size deodorant roll-on. This is with um, Water Lily and um, I like this quite a bit. Um, the scent is actually quite strong but um, it just disappears after a couple, um, about half an hour give or take. So um, that was okay. And the last two cure products that I remember bringing 
were my um, origins um, make a difference rejuvenating hand treatment. I did not use this all that often, but I quite like it and um, I'm trying to finish this up. Um, it is in my uh, Wafter Project pan, finished 14 by Valentine's Day. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it, just takes a bit. And of course, my Lush shampoo bar in Ultimate Shine. This one has been discontinued. I am not a fan of the the um, shampoo I'm trying out at the moment. I just absolutely hate it. Um, they said if I don't like it, I could return it, but it's been about a month now. And um, I w thought I would give it a, a second and a third try, but it's just not doing anything. And I don't know if I can return this now, but um, my hair gets greasy incredibly fast and I don't like it. So. Um, the ultimate shine is really my go-to and once that is gone, I'll kind of have to figure out what I'm doing. So, and this leaves us with the uh, makeup section. Now, for primer, I had brought my Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. I use this every single day under my foundation and I quite like this. Then I had brought what was left over of my Revlon Color Stay for normal and dry skin in the shade 110 Ivory. I like this a lot. I had actually turned the packaging around and um, depotted what was left and what I could get out into a smaller container so I wouldn't have to bring the big one here. And um, it is all gone. I don't think I can't... I mean, if I had a beauty spatula, I could probably get out more of the foundation because as you can see, there is quite a bit left on the um, outer sides of the class, but um, I can't get to it. So um, that one is done. And as I finished this one up on the go, I ended up purchasing a foundation. You may have seen this in my um, vloggy haul video, which, um, yeah, I've never vlogged, so it was kind of a tough one. And um, I'm not too happy with it, but... Um, Anyway, I got the um, Air Flawless Finish Foundation with SPF 15 in the shade Porcelain and um, so far I quite like it. For concealers, I brought the Catrice Liquid Camouflage in the shade 010 Porcelain and the Camouflage Cream in the shade uh, 010 Ivory. I used both of these, of course. As a powder, I brought the uh, MAC Blood Powder Pressed in the shade Light. I used this a lot. For uh, bronzer, I had used what was left of my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I had deposited this into this little container here and it is all gone. I used this one every single day and I actually had a little bit left over when I came back home. And then I brought two blushes. I brought the uh, Manhattan Powder Rouge in Golden Brown. Pardon me. Um, I have a hair tickling me. <clears throat> so um, I could have left this one at home because I did not use this a single time. This was really um, just wasting space in my uh, suitcase. Uh, the thing is I'm not too much of a fan of the shade honestly because it always looks very dirty on me or it barely shows up. And um, so uh, I don't know what to do with this one. And then I brought my MAC blush in style. This is a very coral shade with a bit of sh golden shimmer to it. There you can see it. And I used this every single day I was there. And I'm still using this, so um, this was definitely worth bringing. Now, as eyeshadow bases, I um, actually brought two things. I brought my Manhattan Endless Day eyeshadow pen in on, the, on taupe. Um, this is a taupey shade. Unfortunately, the pencil is broken which um, is not really um, good because it makes it harder to use. But I've been using this once, so um, it was okay, but I think I could have gone without it. But the main deal was actually my MAC Paint Pot in Mobile. And um, this is it. This is just a skin tone shade with a sheen to it. And um, I quite like this, obviously. I mean, I've used quite a bit of it already trying to use this one up before I move on to another one but um I use this one every single day and this one I just used once over top of this one actually. For eyeshadows I brought a few. I brought my uh, Max Factor Wild Shadow Pot in Burnt Bark. This is actually suffering quite a bit. Um, it is a shimmery taupey brown and um, I don't think I've used this once on the trip 
so I should have left this at home. The thing is the packaging is really cracking at the moment so I should definitely either um, use this up relatively quickly or just get rid of it but it's also in my Love to Project Pan Finish 14 by Valentine's Day so I'm going to hold on to this a little bit longer but um, I really want to hit um, pan on this one only. Then I brought this duo here. This is an Essence eyeshadow duo in all time favorite and it has these two shades here they are both very shimmery this is a brown shade a golden brown shade and this one here is a creamy um shade this one i used on a regular basis as my highlighter which is why i had brought this one but i didn't use the um, other shadow all in all this still was a good thing to bring because it didn't use up as much space as my other highlighter so that was nice to have then I brought my uh, Manhattan Bloggers Choice Trio in my Precious China, and um, you've seen this before. These are just um, three eyeshadows that I quite like um, shade-wise, and um, I believe I have used this one, but not the other two. So I used this one for just one look, and um, it's a plummy shade, whereas the others just didn't get any use. And then the main deal was actually... Oh, turns out my um, Z palette is kind of falling apart. Um, I brought these nine eyeshadows and I had these nine eyeshadows in my uh, makeup basket for the past two weeks now. And I have used every single one of them. But I have to add to that, I did not use these two here, the golden shade and the brown shade down in the middle. Um, on their own, I actually mixed those two together. And um, let me just think, um, the shades are, this is All That Glitters, this is Teta Ta, and this is Woodwing, these are MAC shades. Then, this here is another MAC shade, this is Brown Script. This is a Coastal Sense Hot Pot in M24. This here... This here is a Coco um, Cosmetic Cosmo shadow in brown gold. This one here is in Bordeaux gold, also from Cosmetic Cosmo. It's a German um, German brand. Um, they're closing down at the moment, I believe. And then these two shades are also um, Coastal Sense Hot Pods. Um, this one here is an HP ME6. 06 and this one is an HP ME04 so I have used all these shadows um, which um, I quite liked I think the variety was good I could do a lot with these um, eyeshadows so um, I was quite happy having them as my um, eyebrow highlight I had used my uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk exclusively for the entire trip. I'm still doing that and I had to sharpen this a few times already. So uh, this is actually getting smaller, which is good because the um, the cap is cracked. I don't know if I could show this. Here you can see the crack a bit. So um, I'm trying to use this one up because I have a second one and I don't want this to dry out. And then I brought uh, quite a few eyeliners actually, and I didn't use them all. Um, I brought my MAC Eye Curl in I Get No Kick. I use this on a regular basis. This is my um, waterline shade. Then I brought the Kiko Double Glam Eyeliner in 109. This has a teal shade over here and a purple shade over here. I used both shades once. And um, I think they added something to the looks that I used them with. And I brought my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner pencil in bourbon, which I used quite a few times as well. I think I use this almost every day, honestly. And then I brought two more. I brought um, my um, Turn It Up Contour and Glide Kajal in 010. I didn't use this at all. I just didn't have the time and um, I frequently also forgot about it. So um, I didn't use this one. And I brought my Trend It Up Ultra Black um, Eyeliner Pen Waterproof. I did not use this either, so I could have left these two at home and traveled only with these three. 
For mascaras, I had mentioned before that I would be bringing my um, L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Excess Mascara, but I had also mentioned I don't like this in one of my recent videos. And um, somebody mentioned on, in one of the comments that I should just use this as a base and add another mascara over top that I might like better, and that is exactly what I did. So thank you very much for this idea. I ended up packing the Levera, um Long Lash Mascara in black on pretty much on a whim. I didn't know this mascara. And um, I packed this, and it's a very dry formula. But I like this in combination a lot because it really gives me thicker, longer lashes, which is what I was hoping for. So um, I used both of these. For um, my eyebrows, I brought my staples, my um, uh, Catrice Eyebrow Stylist in Date with Ashton. And my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Blonde. For lip products, I actually brought these three here. I brought my uh, Manhattan Sweet and Tasty Lip Gloss and Caribbean Grapefruit. Didn't use this at all, which is odd because I was carrying this around all the time, but I constantly forgot using it. So um, there's nothing new going on here. And I believe I may even have lost my line. Uh, there's a hint of a line. So I have to re-mark this. And then I brought my Trended Up Contour and Glide Lip Liner in 020. I used this quite a, f um, a bit. And I really like this one still. And I brought my um, Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick in Shanghai. I think I used this once or twice. So um, it was okay for me to bring this, I think. And then for per perfumes, I mentioned this already. I didn't use them at all. So I could have left them at home. But I brought the Christina Aguilera By Night perfume and the um, Victoria's Secret Sex All Things Noir perfume. And uh, yeah, I didn't use these at all, so I'm trying to use them right now um, when I don't feel like using the Dita Fontys perfume, which I'm using at the moment in a project pan. So um, these were the, um, the makeup products I brought, and um, I think I used almost everything. All in all, I didn't use the, um, the lip gloss, I didn't use two of the liners, um, and I think that was it. Well, no, I didn't use the um, the Manhattan blush, but all in all, I think I did okay with packing. Um, I know for many of you, this may have been a lot, but I wanted to have variety. I don't like using the same look over and over. Um, I get bored with that fairly easily, so um, for me, this was um, okay to bring. And actually, I brought, so I had this case here, but only filled with the bottom part for my care items, including my... Sh um, my um, shower gels and my uh, body lotion and where is it <clears throat> there we go i had um, this one filled up with my um, makeup and um well i mean i brought the uh, one liter pouch for on the plane because i wanted to have a few items on the plane with me like my my uh, moisturizer for example and my makeup remover wipes so i could take my makeup off and wouldn't have to deal with it on the plane of course but um, yeah, I don't think I brought a whole lot much. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.